Hey everybody, I'm Lucky, welcome back to the channel, Game On, where we just keep gaming on. Today we're bringing you more Octopath Traveler 2. So we went over the intro to the game. Our main character we chose was Hikari, the Samurai Warrior. He is from a desert land that was at war, and in the first episode, <clears throat> we fought some guys and fought a boss, and his brother, General Mugen, came and just started destroying everybody. We basically won the war that we've been fighting for a long time, and now we've entered a time of peace here in this land. Uh, so it's been three years of peace, and we're catching back up with Hikari. All his friends from battle have left and gone other places. I don't know where his brother is. I don't know where his father, the Emperor, is. We're going to find out what's going on now that we're three years removed from the war. So, it's explaining to us about the radar. Use the radar in the bottom right to check areas and find your heading. Green arrow, continue, or the green star, continue the story here. If you are too far, continue to the destination marker and the entrance icon will be displayed in green. The orange star is a side story starting point. The feather is a save point. Question mark is a hidden item. Oh, okay. Other exits to neighboring areas. Press R1 to turn the radar on and off. Okay. So we're going to make for the tavern. Horses are gentle and sensitive animals. Well, let me ride one. I don't have to walk everywhere. Let's see what these merchants are selling. Here's an armor merchant and a weapons merchant. Sword, desert blade. Yeah, that thing's nice. Desert spear. Let's see what he has to sell. Oh, nameless sword, that just sounds cool. Long spear, those both up my damage. Now we're gonna make him a straight up fighter, warrior. Um, and so we're mostly worried about attack, speed, evasion, and a little bit of physical defense. It's mainly what I'm shooting for here. <clears throat> Kite shield, that looks nice. Uh, that looks really nice, but we're not spending all our money on that. War God's Talisman. Raises my physical attack. That's really cool. Raises my speed. Hmm. Okay, so that's a really good deal. We get 10 speed for 280 gold. That's a really good deal. We're going to take that and equip that um, on him. Yep, there we go. Excellent. Now, fur armor upgrades our elemental defense and our physical defense quite a bit. Quite a bit. <clears throat> we get 10 and 11 for 400. That's a good deal. We're going to take that. Yep, that on. And leather helm, not too much, but for the price, we might as well. <clears throat> I mean, just slightly upgrade everything. And we'll keep our weapons the same for now. But we got all our defenses slightly upgraded here. Um, or do I buy that War God's Talisman? No, I think I just save our money. Okay, we're going to travel on. Let's see what this guy has to sell. Healing Grapes. Now, we like those. We need more of those. I always want to have a bunch of these guys around. Especially since we don't have a healer, uh, we're going to be healing ourselves. In Spiriting Plum, we've got plenty of those. Herb of Clamor, cures a single ally of silence. Herb of Light, cures a single ally of blindness. We don't need that, I don't think. <clears throat> this railing here is starting to show its age. Okay, interesting. Hurry, Lord Hikari, the tavern is just there. Oh, it's funny, the game's pointing you in the direction you're supposed to go. Well, I'm not going to hurry anywhere. I'm looking around for a minute. Moving on water. You can board a canoe from a pier and move across the water. If you see a pier, take a canoe across the water. You may be able to reach places you can't on foot. Well, that's what we're going to do. I really wish the minimap wasn't just a bunch of fog with certain markings on it, like a house, green arrows. That is one thing that does disappoint me. Okay, so we got to go to the tavern. We can't leave this area first. The water looks so real. Gosh. We did such a good job with it. <clears throat> Let's go to the tavern and see what's up. One thing about this game, spend a lot of time watching cutscenes, just so you know. Do you know who I am? I'm a captain, appointed by Lord Mugen himself. The 
wars have been over for years. That armor won't earn you any special treatment around here. A lot of this <clears throat> beginning scene and all this is based off of the end of the... What period is that in Japan? 14 to 1600s where they was all at war with each other and then it entered a 250-year time of peace. I want to say it's the Sengoku period and the samurais didn't know what to do. And so they were just out of place in modern society and started becoming extinct because of it. And this is kind of like playing out that whole scenario. Is this the rowdy customer? Lord Hikari, you're just in time. So this is where you've been since you were driven from the castle, huh? <laughs> Oh, interesting. Prince Hikari, consorting with lowlifes. Suppose that's what happens when your family forsakes you. Harsh. You've got some nerve! <laughs> the king grows weak. His mind frail. He can barely lift his sword. It won't be long until General Mugen assumes the throne. So you better fill my cup if you know what's good for you. It's Wrong move, sir. I think you've had quite enough. Path action challenge. During the day, Hikari can challenge townspeople to a duel. Oh, that is so cool. Try pressing square near a townsperson. Hikari must be the indicated level to initiate a challenge. So this is like an old samurai duel. Miyamoto Mus... What's that guy's name? I can't remember. Yeah, let's challenge him. For sure. What do you want? On PCU. If it's a brawl you want, I'll be your opponent. You've drawn your sword. Now be prepared for the consequences. <laughs> On your guard. I'm loving the story so far. Classic samurai. Now it begins. Uh, what's my learn skill? I, well. How's I don't this? understand what learn skill means. It's just like an extra set of skills. <laughs> Status effects. Yeah, okay. Cool. I don't have to read all that business. Piercing thrust. My spear does not air. Woo! There we go. Blew him away. There's, There's no, no need, need for flatter. <laughs> rust my soul. <laughs> One experience. I mean, it's interesting. He hardly gets any experience. By the tempest. Tempest. Now, leave. I won't ask again. <clears throat> learn skills. Hikari can learn new skills by winning challenges. Well, there you go. You can set up the five skills in the available slots and use them at any time during battle. Well, look at that. That's where we get those learned skills from. Double slash. SP cost six. Unleash a sword attack on a single foe two times. Yeah. I like that double slash. That's our lord! Apologies for the mess. Drink in peace. Came and laid down the law. Can be getting out of hand in my village. Lord Hikari, thank you. Suki. You needn't thank me. It is my duty. We're blessed that you were appointed to watch over our town. There's been more smiles all around ever since. They like me. <clears throat> ah, it's been too long, Your Highness. Ben, can you? Is that you? 
can't remember the last time you visited alone. That was our father's bodyguard. Is something amiss? Uh. My prince, I must ask that you visit me at the Western Keep. I can say no more. All will be explained upon your arrival. Very well. I won't be long. Thank you, my prince. I will await you there. Okay, so we're gonna probably get a chance to do a little exploring before we have to go continue the main story, but <clears throat> I bet it's not good news. Our father's guard. It's nothing. Makati. So let's explore some more of this town. Up there is where he wants me to wait. I see my father standing off in the distance. Let's look around for just a minute here. Hey, you can count on my medicine to get the job done. Just one sip will have you bursting with energy. Duel me, medicine man. Oh, there we go, treasure chest. That's what we were looking for, guys. Healing grape. Okay, we'll take it. <clears throat> Nothing wrong with that. I can sit a little longer each day. In there. Will she be all better tomorrow? The herbs I found can perk anyone up. Now then, what should I make for dinner? Don't know. Don't know, we just had breakfast. Eggs and sausage for breakfast, guys. What'd you guys have? Give me a comment down below on your favorite breakfast. Mine would have to be Eggs Benedict. Cool, we're gonna arrest suspicious people, he's saying. Oh, I think I've practiced archery enough. I'll work on my sword play next. <clears throat> now, I did see a bow as a weapon at some point in this game, I think. You need a strong horse to cross the desert. Oh, do we get a horse to cross the desert with? That would be so cool. Oh, we can walk on the ramparts. Not a single scoundrel, rogue, or dubious travel will get through on my watch. The 3D nature of these settings are so cool. How you can just walk up and down like that, and it's not really a 2D setting. So I guess I can't go that way at all. Probably can't go that way. Yeah, okay. Very specific, but also... <clears throat> you know, it's not open open world there's definitely certain paths they want you to explore down just like that but they're really well done feel really organic and natural and worth doing like that was fun found a couple of items weren't really important ones but it was really cool to go explore that little bit of village and look how beautiful just the rooftop tiles are love japanese architecture your majesty dad why have you left the castle? I would have come if called. This is the only place where we would not be heard. Hikari, I have devoted my life to expanding our borders. Many a dawn has been stained crimson by my ambition. Now at the end of that path... It's a hell of a line. Many a dawn has been stained crimson by my ambition. I realize that it has all led to nothing. It's morbid. <coughs> Hikari, I would ask you, what do you want for our nation? Friends. Allies. Friends that will grow together with us. Allies that hold the same ideals as us. With that, we could realize a world without conflict, without bloodshed. I charged you with overseeing the city, so that I could take your measure, Hikari. And I do not find you lacking in the least. You've brought joy to the people, community. Hikari, I want you to be the next king of Ku. Your majesty, are you? I'm not worthy. My brother, he... 
He is consumed by the same ambition that led me astray. He would see the world kneel before him. <sighs> there is a plot stirring among his troops. We must act with haste. I shall make the proper arrangements and do what I can to keep Mugen's machinations at bay. Please consider what is at stake, Hikari. Father. Prince who would be king. So he gave us the village to find out if we were going to be a good leader or not. I too hope that you will take up the mantle of king, Lord Hikari. Everybody's had enough bloodshed. <sighs> I think my brother's character represents a historical figure, Oda Nobunaga, who was just a bloodthirsty warlord, but very a cunning king? and crafty. He uh, became king. Father spoke of a plot among Mugen's troops. What is he planning? I need to get to the bottom of this. Someone in the city must know something. Secrets have a way of revealing themselves. Okay, here we go. We kind of got a little Detective Who Done It episode. <clears throat> Find someone who knows about Mugen's plot. My husband loved his horses like they were his own children. <laughs> oh, man. My horses are good for more than going into battle. Yeah, so I bet we'll end up getting a horse from him to go. We don't need to buy anything to go across the desert when it's time to travel. Here's today's portion. This is just between us, right? Ha! There's no shame in a good thing, right? Yeah, well, sharing food's a good thing, right? Who's this guy? This guy looks like he's got something above his head. I wonder if she's busy today. Hmm. Can't really interact with him. Well, there's some girl selling fish down there in the corner. So looks like we have to go up and to the right. <clears throat> yeah. I like to look at that jazz piano. Let's save the game, it's been a little while. Yeah, these are all, I haven't even saved yet once in this one. So these are the old saves from the other one. We're just going to go over these guys. That was my trial section. I actually played seven hours in that other one, but a lot of it was just trying stuff out with recording. Uh, so that was just like sitting there on screen while I was messing around with the recording equipment and audio equipment. So we're one hour in. I am patrolling the streets. So it looks like I got to go this way. Castle Coup entrance. Hinoima. Oh, what a beautiful castle. Look at that. Nice. Whoever designed these set pieces did so good. The execution. Impeccable. He might be the one. Great bit of nostalgia and modern take on it. A merchant flourishing in the shadow of the castle. If anyone can tell me what goes on inside its walls, surely it would be him. Although I can't expect his information to come for free. Don't we have coerce or something? Might have to coerce him or pay him some money. Bet there'll be a money check or Let's, see. Let's go find out. Bribe. Uh huh. At night, Hikari can bribe townspeople for information. Try pressing square near a townsperson. You must have the indicated funds to bribe someone. Okay. Why, if it isn't the young prince, what brings you here? First, this treasure chest behind you. With 1600. Oh, how convenient. Next, to bribe you. Requires 300 to bribe. Well, yeah, that's pretty cheap. We're gonna do it. 10% of what we have. Castle Merchant, age 53. A merchant permitted to enter and exit Castle Coup at will. Such access affords him the opportunity to make personal connections with King Jigo, General Mugen, and various officials and ministers of the monarchy. 
He is quite good at his job and refuses to align himself with any one faction, preferring instead to chase high profits. Oh, the almighty dollar rules him. Excellent. What do you know? I should like to know what's going on at the castle. Have you heard anything during one of your deliveries, perhaps? Ah, the young prince. I believe I can be of service. Of course you can. However, I'll have you know that it comes at no small risk to my person. You'll be fairly compensated. Is this enough? Ah, our lord knows well the ways of the world. This game is really well written. Very well written characters. Great story. I've heard rumors that unusually large shipments of weapons have been delivered to the castle as of late. I'll rank the story for you guys at the end of this. Soldiers get chatty during long watches, you see. They say General Mugen meets with this arms merchant upon the crest of heroes. Mugen may be stoking the embers of war. Tell me more. You clean new information. Castle merchants information. Nice. So father was right. I have to ask him myself. Look Mugen in the eye. Ooh, sure you want to do that? If that merchant's words hold any salt, then I'll find him at the crest of heroes. I don't know. I don't know if you want to go there all alone. He's going to have his whole gang there. But, in the name of continuing the story, let's continue the story. Always save twice. That's one of my golden rules of any of these games. Just in case something happens. One save gets corrupted or something, doesn't work. Uh, you can save again. It's in here. Can't go in there. Mugen. What do you guys value in a good story? I like character development, a good twist, and believability. You know. If it's too outrageous, outlandish, or poorly written, I just don't really, doesn't really suck me in. What do you guys like mostly in a story? Leave a comment down below and let me know. The castle gates are closed. You won't be able to get in at this time. I'm part of the castle. We stand watch even after the castle gates are closed. Okay, so. Anyways. We can sprint. That's something that's really cool. I've never been able to do that in one of these RPGs. Um, saving your progress. You never know when danger might strike. Be sure to save often. Keep an eye out for this monument. You can find save points in towns, overworld areas, and dungeons. Yeah, okay, well we knew about that. And we've already saved, so let's run, 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 run. How much money do I have now? 3,000? Yeah, I can get a weapon, but I don't really need a new weapon yet. So I think we'll just rock this one that we have to now. Huh. So I think we're outside, we might get attacked. We need to go. Doesn't really tell me where to go, we're just gonna... I guess go down that path side, south fight. <clears throat> towards the green arrow. Here I come. This guy's vulnerable to a lot of stuff. Let's give him the spear first. Ooh. There we go. Broke your shield in one attack. Use the spear. My turn. Give him the spear again twice. <laughs> now it begins. That's my other skill. Double Allow slash. Yeah, straight up warrior. For the pride of Koo. High damage, damage break. We're gonna have to get all that stuff. Huh, so I'm only level 4. I thought I was a higher level than that. Okay, yeah, let's go down here. This is gonna lead me where I need to go. It's kind of leading me the other way now. It's hoping that it would pull back around. Which it looks like it will. Herb of Light. Now remember, if you sprint, you're gonna run into more enemies. If you just walk I like this, you'll be less battles. And it might Here go quicker, that's what I'm thinking. Warrior skills. Aggressive slash. My saves. Yeah, okay, that's kind of a cool one, because you just randomly attack different guys. Uh, you just blow them away with some real straight-up attacks. 
so it's mostly just straight physical damage. My so turn. It'd be nice to get some elemental stuff going on. Uh, My let's break him again and stun him. There we go, blast him away. Here I am. Might as well give him the Hachimani. How's this? Whoa, 200. There we go. There's, There's no, no need, need for flattery. It'll rust my soul. Level up. All right, we're getting there. Excuse me. No, okay, we leveled up so everything healed. There's nothing for me to do here. I should go back. Okay, let's go up this path here. Usually when they have lights in the game, it's to lead you on a certain direction. There we go. Let's go up the mountain. Save right here and see what happens. There's a merchant right there, too. What do we do? We always save twice. And then we're going to stop the episode right here, guys. And we continue on. We're going to see what's going on up here. We're going to talk to the merchant and get that chest. Uh, my name is Lucky, and this is Game On, playing Octopath Traveler 2. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Later.